Fair use, you said, fair you said. Using this for commentary on. Yeah, Lamar Jackson, obviously Patrick Mahomes, Dak Prescott, Brack Parody, like, but Brock, let's, they're not winning because of him. He's not turning the ball over. He's managing the game. And if we were to put that in its own right as game managers, Brock, Parody, Tua Tonga Valoa, Jared Goff, and really, Dak Prescott. These are game managers. They're, they're not difference makers. And when you say game manager, I'm not asking you to go out and win the game. I'm just asking you not to lose. Not to lose the game. That's, listen, motherfucker, I don't give a damn what you do. You don't have to score every time. You just don't have to throw a pick every time either. If we're going to really call a spade a spade, a game manager is different than a game changer. Yeah, Lamar Jackson, obviously Patrick Mahomes. Welcome to HDTV, you're now rocking with your boy. Now, Cam Newton came out to explain to the average fan, the casual fan, about quarterbacks Brock Purdy, Dak Prescott, and um, Tua Tagovailoa or what we call them over here, tuna fish. They're game managers. And nothing wrong with that. They're making it happen. But in the big games, we have to see if they can be a game changer. And that's all he's saying. But people bashing him when he's in former MVP, I believe carried a terrible Carolina team to the playoffs every year. Um, His first year, he broke rookie records. He came out the gates just slanging the ball everywhere. But the thing is, everybody is talking trash like, well, Cam, if you would have been studying film instead of worrying about your dress code then you would still be in the league when that's the most dumbest thing I ever heard the reason Cam's not in the league everybody knows why that Super Bowl when he walked out on that interview how he did they started hating on him they did not like him they started letting the defenders hit him extra late which I think one year I think he tore his shoulder. I may be wrong, but I think it was his shoulder. This is all for trying to remember. His shoulder was out, and instead of him getting the surgery early, he tried to play through it, and it wasn't looking good for him. So, but, you know, he, Cam has always been a game changer. Whenever you needed a play, he made it. If somebody needed to get the ball, he'll give it to him. The problem is, is that Cam didn't play the game. But Cam was always a clean-cut man. Very educated, very well-spoken, ran the franchise, made players better than what they were. He didn't have Steve Smith, but I think for one season. Imagine if he had kept Steve Smith, you know, a little past his prime. That Panthers team would have been dangerous, but you know how it goes. Now, people are saying his credentials, but I ask people, you wouldn't listen to a starter who dug a franchise from the pits to win game after game and get to a Super Bowl with a team that shouldn't even sniff the playoffs, but they made it. But you're going to say you rather listen to a Dave Orlowski or whatever this one chick is. On I, I forgot what it is. ESPN, I believe. Um, but they're saying that she said something about Cam. I didn't see the whole episode, but 
she was digging into Cam, but Cam Newton has the right to speak. He has the right to let people know about football, about the decisions, about what's going on. He has the right to ask, and he has the right to he has the right to analyze the game and the film and put it out there. And to me, Cam Newton should have a job right now. He's a former MVP. But you guys will let Flacco, Wentz, these other guys get a chance, and they're just terrible. The Patriots, terrible. Zappy came in. They did okay. There's other teams that needed quarterbacks. Atlanta, you mean to tell me Cam couldn't play in Atlanta? If Cam was in Atlanta right now, Atlanta would just run away with the division because he would know how to close the game out, especially with those weapons. Kyle Pitts would be killing it right now, but they don't want to give him a chance. They want to give this Ritter guy a chance who just has been playing way below average, you know. But what can you say? They had a chance to get Deshaun Watson. They passed it up. But it may have been good because he's injured right now. But still, you could have had him or you could have had Lamar Jackson and you were like, nah, we're going to go with Ritter. And they just do not look good um, week by week. Their um, running game and their defense really, really um, – Stay, they, they really stay in their ground, stay in their gaps, communicate well. But you know, Atlanta's had a problem stopping people. Um, they have talent, but it's it's like they under they underperform. I just think if they had if they had a quarterback. That can that they believe in that can make the plays down the stretch, you know they would roll with them. But you know how it goes. But Cam, if Cam was playing there, it would have been crazy. The Jets, the Jets need a quarterback. But I think Cam said they they um I think he said he wanted a certain amount of money, and I don't think they um was willing to give it to him so. You know how it is. So, well, now to switch gears. Draymond Green did a backhand to Nurkic. Just backhand the hell out of him. But um, play, tried to play it off. Um, the NBA is basically saying he's suspended indefinitely. My opinion is I don't think he should be, but look, if you're going to suspend him, to me, he shouldn't have got suspended for the Rudy Gobert because he put his hands on Clay. But now the backhand, you know, Nurkic, you know, did extra stuff, but Hey, it happens. It happens. It happens. So, we'll see down the line when he'll be able to come back or if he comes back. But um, this could jeopardize his future. I think the Warriors are going to try to see if they can, um on the low, move them. But that's going to be hard to do because of what the media deems him as having an attitude. It's like, no, nah, Draymond just play hard, but he is dirty. He is a dirty player. But you can win championships with him if you have the right guys around him. 
But um, Steph, Steph has been balling. The thing is, Clay has just fell off, and feel sorry for him because he wasn't the same after that knee injury. Then he, I think he his Achilles burst, I believe. So he had double injuries back to back. So he's really not the same. But we hope for the best, though. So we'll see what it is with that. But um, like I said, the the media the media play these games and they love to lie and lie and lie. But the truth is, Cam has every right to critique. And I've told you guys, Brock Purdy doesn't look good if one of those weapons go down. So we got to see in the big games coming up if he if he can do it. Because in the playoffs, they're going to try to take those weapons away from him. We're going to see what he does. Um, two of the same way. In the big games this year, man, they, they've kind of folded. But they got a talented team, but their defense is kind of iffy. So, that's how that goes. So, Cam, you could talk your shit, man. So, I'm going to get off of this, but um, shout out to Cam Newton. He needs to um, be in the league. Like I said, he could be he could be with Atlanta right now. He could have helped the Saints. <laughs> well, no, the Saints, they got two quarterbacks, but, um, you know, shoot, he could have helped the Bucks. <laughs> but, no, nah, he ain't going to do that. So... You know, we just hope for the best. So, thank y'all for listening, man. And I see y'all on the next video. I'm out. Deezy. <laughs>